Respiration in Wood Lice Required Practical by kscience.com. In this video, I'm going to explain how to carry out the respiration core practical using wood lice. You firstly place the same volume of soda lime at the bottom of each test tube. Soda lime absorbs carbon dioxide. We'll talk about that later. So the same volume of soda lime is placed at the bottom of each test tube. You now place cotton wool inside the test tube above the soda lime. This is so the wood lice can stand on it in the test tube. So remember the cotton wool is placed in the test tube for the wood lice to stand on. You're now going to handle wood lice. These are living creatures. You must only take them out of the box where they are stored when you are putting them in the test tube. Otherwise, they must be handled very carefully. The tube on the left and the tube in the middle are where we're going to put the wood lice. So you put the same number of wood lice in each test tube. This is a control variable. You must put the same number of wood lice in each test tube. So remember to place the same number of wood lice in each test tube carefully. The tube on the right is the control. We place no wood lice in this test tube. We want to see if temperature has an effect on the rate of respiration in wood lice. This is so we can validate the results. We need to increase the validity of the results to see if it is actually temperature that has an effect on the rate of respiration. So this is to increase the validity. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. To change the independent variable, you set water baths to different temperatures. In this case, the water bath is set to 5 degrees Celsius. And you place your test tubes that were set up previously into the water. So remember that each test tube should have the same volume of soda lime, the same type of cotton wool for the wood lice to stand on, and in each run you should have the same number of wood lice. You then place a respirometer into each of the test tubes. So now the organisms inside the test tubes are going to start respiring. They're going to use the oxygen from the atmosphere inside the test tube and they're going to use that for respiration. So the wood lice are going to use the oxygen for respiration. One of the byproducts of respiration that they're going to exhale is going to be carbon dioxide. So the wood lice are going to exhale carbon dioxide into the test tube. The soda lime that we've placed at the bottom of the test tube is going to absorb the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So the soda lime is going to absorb the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Because the wood lice have inhaled oxygen and they have exhaled CO2, but the CO2 has been absorbed by the soda lime, this is going to reduce the volume of air inside the test tube. Because the O2 has been absorbed by the wood lice and then the CO2 they've exhaled has been absorbed by the soda lime, that's going to cause the volume of air inside the test tube to decrease. This is going to force the coloured liquid in the respirometer to move along it towards the respiring organisms. This is due to a change in pressure. So what then happens is the coloured liquid moves down the respirometer. We use the control to increase the validity of our results. And the respirometer in the control will move. This is because there is CO2 in atmospheric air. Therefore, the soda lime in the control chest tube is going to absorb the CO2 from the atmosphere. This will cause a pressure change inside the test tube, causing the coloured liquid in the respirometer to move, but nowhere near as much as in the test tube of the respiring organisms. So in the control, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is absorbed by the soda lime, and the coloured liquid will move a little. 
It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Now we're going to measure the rate of respiration in wood lice in a water bath set at 25 degrees Celsius. And remember to use the same number of wood lice, the same volume of soda lime and the same cotton wool and the same test tube as you did in the previous run at 5 degrees Celsius. You then use the same respirometer as you did in the previous run. Now at 25 degrees Celsius, we're going to see an increased rate of respiration. This is because the wood lice are more active, so they're going to inhale more oxygen from the atmosphere. They will therefore release more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere inside the test tube, and that carbon dioxide is then going to be absorbed by the soda lime. This is so we can measure the volume of oxygen used by the wood lice for their respiration. So at 25 degrees Celsius, the wood lice use more oxygen for an increased rate of respiration as they're going to be less active in 5 degrees. Therefore, they exhale more carbon dioxide into the test tube's atmosphere. Soda lime absorbs CO2 from the air, so this reduces the volume of air in the test tube. So the more oxygen that is inhaled by the wood lice for respiration, the more the coloured liquid will move down the respirometer. So therefore, the coloured liquid will move further down the respirometer. The soda lime in the control chest tube is going to absorb the CO2 from the atmosphere. This will cause a pressure change inside the test tube, causing the coloured liquid in the respirometer to move, but nowhere near as much as in the test tube of the respiring organisms. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. In this investigation, the independent variable, which is what we change, is the temperature. So we changed the temperature. The dependent variable is what we measured. So it's what we measured. In this case, we measured the distance the coloured liquid moved in the respirometer. To get comparable results, we had to control some of the variables. In this case, we controlled the time spent in the water bath by the wood lice. We also controlled the number of wood lice in each test tube. We controlled the volume of soda lime in each test tube. We also controlled the test tubes that we used. We'd get different results if we used different sized test tubes. You use control variables to increase the reliability of your results and to make your results comparable. Do not write fair test. That is wrong. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.